Welcome back to my channel. I am Old New Dude. This is Theories and Tenfold for Game of Thrones and Beyond. I'll try to be a little bit shorter than last time, so I'm going to go pretty quick. Um, we're going to get three tenfolds this episode. Uh, no comments from <laughs> other than family members the last time, so not going to comment in the video. Uh, please comment, throw your theories out there. Tenfold, love it. Uh, I left you last time with Alaris is the baby swapped Aegon, the real one. Uh, I mean, George R. R. Martin didn't just phone it in one day and say, we'll just swap the name around and make Sorella Sand uh, Alaris. Uh, I ain't buying it. So, um, all the descriptions of the beautiful Targaryen princes, prince, uh, same description of ours. The women love him. Boys want to be him. Uh, he's good at everything he does. I mean, three links in a year, and he's super smart. Um, got money. Yeah, somebody's backing him. Uh, Golden Heart Bow, rare, expensive, cha-ching. Um, his arrows. He's shooting like rotten apples and, and over the water and not going to get them back. Um, he's so good that he doesn't even have to see the arrow and still hits it. Um, just excellent. Uh, he misses the last shot, but they say he always misses the last shot, and I'm thinking he does that on purpose. Why? Maybe to, 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 to make people think he's not as good as he really is. Um, I mean, just, there's no way that, that Danny would get a, well, that's his old stuff I covered last time, but still, I mean, I, I so strongly feel that, that this is right, uh, and it's proved in the Winds of Winter or <laughs> Dream of Spring, you know, I'll be back on here going, yeah, I told all y'all people, but if I'm wrong, I'll be back on here and say, hey, you're, my wife's right, I'm an idiot. Um, but uh, I really, really think that Danny would not be told anything about this this person. Um, that is, if he is the Sphinx, that's the riddle, not the Riddler. Um, so yeah, there's that one. Uh, next one. Uh, there's a little bit of Ned, uh, everybody's favorite character, or most people's favorite character from the first book until he got his head chopped off. Uh, old dead dead. There's a little bit of him left out there. Um, we see him talking to Varys. Varys gets him drunk, just like uh, Catelyn gets Jamie drunk to make him more agreeable. Um, George likes to repeat things in a good way. Um, so yeah, uh, want him to bend the knee and say all this stuff. Uh, no, I don't. We never actually get Ned agreeing to it, so I think Jock Nagar was there to uh, skin change Ned to say all the right words. He doesn't mention anything about the old gods. He spouts out about the new gods and the seven, and it just doesn't seem like Ned. Uh, but, uh, so yeah, gets his head chopped off. Uh, but we're shown with Bran and Holdor and uh, uh, we're told the rules by very mercy skins. Um, a little piece of Ned is back with Jock and Agar. Uh, don't know how much. Ned's a, got a pretty strong uh, mind when it comes to certain things. Duty, honor, his family. And we got Jock and Agar showing interest in Arya. Uh, yeah, don't know if that's all Jock and Agar. I don't think that's none of Jock and Agar. Thinks that that's the little bit of Ned in the back of his head saying, ah, protect her, protect her. That's, I mean, so that's how Jock and Agar, I think, knows who uh, Arya is at, 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 uh, is at first. Um, and, and that's why he does some of the things he does when it comes to, to Arya. Uh, okay, that one out of the way. Next one. Um, Cash <laughs> uh, Second time. Um, so this is like take five. Uh, but uh, uh, Lucifer means Lightbringer has a theory that uh, 
moon meteors caused the first uh, long night. Um, I, I like it. Uh, con contact uh, winters, like nuclear winters or volcanic winters. Yeah, no problem. Um, the wall falling will cause the next uh, uh, long night. And I don't think it'd be worldwide. I think it'd be mostly in Westeros. Um, don't know how much of that trash truck is going to show, so <laughs> might have to edit this and, 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 and put it in there somewhere else. But uh, yeah, I think you got 700 feet high, 300 feet or 300 miles long. I mean, that's a whole lot of ice falling down, and it's not going to be straight down like in a, in a building gets demolished. It's going to go all over the place. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a lot of ground that's thrown up, a lot of ice particles thrown up, it's going to block out the sun. Um, it's not going to maybe cause the temperature to drop. I think the others are going to cause the temperature to drop uh, because they bring the cold with them. Um, but yeah, uh, don't know how they're going to get by the mystical barrier that is actually underneath the wall. Uh, I wanted to get in there. I think I heard. Uh, <laughs> There's that black stone that runs the entire length of the wall, and that's where the magic that won't let the undead pass. Not sure how they get by that, but uh, the wall itself, that's not a problem for that. Um, it could, the horn being blown at the top of the tower at Old Town, bring it down. They say you can see the wall from the top of the tower. Don't know how that works physically uh, in, a, in the real world, but in Planetos, apparently you can't. Uh, why would you be able to see the wall from the top of that tower if it didn't have some meaning later on? So yeah, there's that one. Um, and there's uh, my favorite theory. Uh, when George R. R. Martin was asked about the Night King, Night's King, uh, he said it would be, he would be as likely to still be alive as Lamb the Clever or Bran the Builder. That's not a no. Uh, that's me reading that all three of those people are still alive and here's how um you have wards which they skin change wolves you have skin changers you have green seers um what if there's a next level to that what if they're for lack of a better word super green seers um you're told in a second life that they have they go into their their animal or a person but they're thrown to the back and there's a little bit less of them day after day after day after day and it's going to be more of the original person or maybe a mix of the two um not quite clear on that uh, but uh you can see vermin six skins go into the one eye um but what if the super green seers when they have their second life they don't lose themselves what if they're the predominant person? Um, but yet, I know you're thinking that the powers don't transfer with the second life. But what if your second life is inside another powerful green seer or extremely powerful um, skin changer? Um, and there's definitely more powerful skin changers out there than very much six skins. Where he was at, he was pretty powerful, but um, those that have been uh, awakened uh, by near-death experience, uh, um, Peter Baelish, uh, Euron Greyjoy, um, I mean, yeah, they all saw the three-eyed crow, uh, and it's a crow, not a raven, for you show watchers. Um, so yeah, I mean, they're, they're basically body jumping. And the second they jump into the next body, they're already planning their third life or fourth life, whichever one they're on, they're looking for a powerful skin changer or a green seer, uh, especially one that hasn't uh, become powerful yet, doesn't know that that's what they are. So the near-death experience gives them the opportunity to swoop in there and say, oh, hey, fly or die. Uh, if they fly, then that's the next body. Uh, I think that's what the three-eyed uh, 
Raven, uh, Blood Raven, um, wants Bran for. Uh, he needs another body because his is about gone. This is the first time he's done it, maybe. Um, so, yeah, super green series. I like that. Uh, so, I mean, anything's possible with George R. R. Martin. Uh, but, I mean, that's the only way that all three of those characters would still be alive. Um, you got Bran, the Builder, which a lot of people think Bran is that person who just goes back in time. And that he's possibly every Brandon in House Stark from that time forward. Uh, which I would think, except the, the Brandon that dies in King's Landing, unless he did all that just because... You know, he had to to get to a certain point, but that's way too deep and way too long for this video. Um, but Lamb the Clever uh, and uh, the Night's King. So I do believe we're going to see these characters again. Uh, you're definitely not going to get a point of view character chapter out of them. Um, so yeah, there's a the super greens. Um, yeah, I think that's probably going to do it for this video. I'm going to save some more tinfoil for the next. Hopefully, uh, we have comments uh, that I can actually read. Uh, if it's just family, I'm not doing a comment video. <laughs> uh, thank you again for choosing this. This is my second video. Uh, this has been Old New Dude with theories and tinfoil of Game of Thrones and beyond. Uh, I hope you and your family are doing well uh, in this uh Time of crisis, uh, stay safe, and thank you for choosing this video. See you next time.